hello there and welcome back to my channel i am so excited today because we're going to be trying out an eyeshadow palette that looks magnificent it was recommended to me by a couple of you guys and upon the recommendation i hoisted myself straight over to aliexpress looked at this palette and i fell in love and now the palette is here it's here we had a bit of a journey getting the palette but it's here i'm not going to bore you with the traffic woes and the almost crashing into a flatbed lorry on the roundabout woes to get this palette but it was worth it well i hope it was i hope it was but anyway guys so today we're going to be doing a first impression oh shania oh my gosh she is eager today well you just stay in there one second i'll give you the wink when we're ready for you to come out so guys this is the cageling palette i am actually not 100 percent sure on the actual brand that have has created this palette I spent all of about 30 seconds actually, you know, trying to find out. Um, but I got it from the NYN Cosmetic Store. It costs £7.67. So it's the Cageling Palette. And I don't know maybe if the actual brand is Erinese. Erinese, which makes me think of like Lord of the Rings. So I don't know if that's like the name. I'm really not sure. But what I can tell you is the whole presentation of this palette is extremely tremendously exciting okay right it's your moment let me wink it's time it's time to come out i can't wink gracefully do you ever know some people and they can like wink and it just looks so cool i am not one of those people i'm like a oh is she having a stroke or is she is she winking at me that's the always the question people have when i'm attempting a wink this is what the outer area what the sleeve, oh my gosh, the sleeve. This is what the sleeve of the part, well, I should not be that happy with myself that I use the word sleeve correctly, I don't know, but you know, things have not been going well for me recently, apparently. So anyway, guys, so this is the sleeve. I'm gonna just take her out. Okay, it's time. This is, this is the moment now to shine, okay? Oh, oh, wow, madame. Well, hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, guys, I'm going to stop. I'm just, I had some LucasAid, honestly. Look, and I've got it in a wine glass. Do you ever do that? You'll have like a soft drink and you'll pop it in a wine glass just because it makes you feel a little bit fancy, you know? So, anyway, we're going to blame that. Also, I've just realized I still have my card down my bra. I, that's like the third pocket that every lady needs to utilize more. But then I always feel a bit awkward, you know, when I'm in the shop and I, <laughs> that awkward moment when you're kind of reaching in your top, you know, to pull out your card and they're thinking, holy shit, what is she doing up in here? And then your card appears and it's all warm because it'd be nest, nestled against your bubaya. But anyway, did you just see my card details then? like there's nothing nothing in the account so it's fine but anyway guys so here she is she does remind me very much of the whole the whole kind of aesthetics of the pretty vulgar brand in a way like they do look very similar in the sense that like they both have a bird on the front like that's that's kind of similar and I don't know when I did kind of first see this I was kind of thinking is it meant to be like a dupe for a pretty vulgar palette or something but then I thought oh, I don't know but I, I like her so okay so we've got this little red tag here do I oh my gosh I was gonna open this in the kitchen before and I thought no I need to need to unleash her with company so okay should we do it so we open the flap oh my gosh look at her oh my gosh guys so you know, sometimes if you shop on AliExpress, the product will look really, really good in the pictures, but then when you have it, it doesn't actually look that good and you feel like you've been a bit scammed. This looks maybe even better than it looks in the pictures. The colours are extremely vibrant, particularly this kind of 
purple here, the blues. I'm loving this kind of, you know, olive shade. That's very unique. And I'm also deeply attracted to this shade here, which I don't know why, but it's not actually showing as, it's kind of like a purpley, like lilac -y pink, but it just looks kind of a muted pink here. But also it does look like you've got a couple of different formulas within the shimmers uh, for example this one looks to be a little bit more maybe like a pressed pigment you've got this one which again is a pressed big pigment because I've just realized that this one doesn't look like a pressed pigment it looks like it's maybe like not like glitter I don't know it looks different anyway can you see what I mean it looks a bit more textured oh my god reviewer fail but anyway guys I'm gonna go ahead bash out some swatches and then we're going to move on to an eye look and I'm just putting all my hopes and dreams on this palette being excellent because like the feel of the whole palette it feels expensive it's kind of heavy and just the you know the artistic detail with on the palette it looks really really pretty it says here on the back so they lower as love in twain had the essence but in one two distinct division one number here in love was slain oh william shakespeare so none of that made any sense to me whatsoever but it's by that's a quote by william shakespeare so that's very nice indeed the cageling palette is that william shakespeare reference I should have paid more attention in English because all we studied was William fucking Shakespeare. If I only knew that it would, you know, go on in the future to help me out in a video, I would have paid more attention. Probably not though, probably not. Also as well, I do apologise about the shoddy look of my nails. I did have nails and I don't anymore over on this hand. So, okay, I'm going to get my wipes because apparently I never fucking have my wipes and I'll be back in a sec. Ta -ta -ta. I'm so excited about the palette. Ta -ta. Ta -ta 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 I know my hair's looking shit. When is it not? Really, guys? Oh my gosh, this it looks so pretty. And even if the formula is not so good, I just think she looks beautiful anyway. And look at this. I mean, guys. Ah! Ah! Have you ever seen such a thing? I just think she's magnificent. Okay. Oh. Okay, so here we have the first three. I'm actually loving that kind of middle shade. It's kind of like a, a, a grayish and I'm loving it. Loving it. Right, let's swatch. One, two, three. Okay, so that shimmer appears to be pretty sheer. And just full of glitter, really, but I'm not hating her. I'm not hating her, guys. Okay, so for the most part, I think that the swatches actually performed really beautifully. I think that the shimmers look really kind of metallic, pigmented and rich in colour. So I'm very excited about those. I think even the yellow and the light pink swatched beautifully considering that they're such light shades. So we are going to move on to the eye look i really want to try the blue today on the lid i very rarely use blue and i feel like the blue in this palette is so distinctly beautiful i really want to give her a go also just to show you this is what the swatches look like on the advertisement on aliexpress they are obviously much better uh, swatches than i created and um, but just to give you like another idea of like how the 
shades are this is them and although i know that swatches in promotional kind of marketing videos can be heavily kind of doctored i do believe that the shades shown are very true to what i've kind of seen in my not so perfected swatches you know okay so i have kind of set my lids so we are ready and i'm going to begin with um this shade here which is called nightingale i'm going to begin with this shade just in the crease i'm going to be using this um morphe brush today oh, it doesn't have a mirror though like we have no mirror but that's fine i mean that's fine do i have a mirror is the question i'm going to use this one from this really expensive hourglass i don't know what this is oh it's a luminous light all over setting powder that i paid way too much for and it's too dark for me so like basically i paid about 50 pounds just for this mirror because that's all i use it for so great oh they're, they're quite like that shade has kicked off a lot of um powder which i don't mind oh and i've just wiped wiped it on my uh, pants so okay i'll go back in again great okay tap 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 my eyelids look a little bit dry today which is annoying Okay, so this is a very light shade, but even now I can kind of see her, which is great. So I'm going to go back in again, tap, 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 or just tap, tap. I mean, really. And in we go. Okay, so I'm just going to build this up a little bit because, I mean, it's a very light shade, but I'm impressed with what it's done so far. It is very powdery, though. Okay, so there we go. So I'm going to move on to another shade. And I am going to switch my brush to this Jessup Lux Crease brush. And I am next going to go in with Dove, which is, it's a very light, um, kind of lilac-y pink shade, but... For some reason, like it's definitely not coming off like that here, which is a real disappointment. Sorry about that, guys. I'll include a pic now so you can see how it actually looks, which hopefully will uh, help you out. Can you see on the, the brush? You could definitely see that looks more kind of true to its actual shade. I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, these are very powdery. Very powdery, but you know, it, I'm not bothered about that really. I'm just kind of keeping it a little bit lower than the first shade that I popped in. We're doing a lot of popping today. So I'm actually not going to tap off the excess. I know, call me a rebel, but I'm not going to do it because I just want to see, you know, how, what we can get if I don't. Okay, so I mean, yes, like she's made a difference. She made a difference and I'm not hating her. Oh, should I? Oh, she looks really pretty. Do you know, this looks really, really pretty. And considering that that light, uh, lilac -y pink, is such a light shade, you know, you can definitely see she's kind of brightened everything up. Next, we are going to switch brushes again. I'm going to go in with this Morphe. Morphe. And I'm going to go into... Oh, she keeps closing. I'm going to go into Spoon Bill, which is like a mauve or mauve kind of pinky shade. I'm just gonna pop that like a little bit lower down. Like I do feel like these eyeshadows are pretty kind of pigmented. Usually, you know, when I'm kind of layering, especially like, you know, the lighter shades on top of lighter shades, it's tough to really be able to discern like if which is which have you added another shade on they all kind of melt in together whereas with this like i feel like each shadow that i've popped on is kind of holding its own so i'm liking that i am impressed i'm not going to top off this this bit i'm just going to like pack it on okay so i'm really loving that i think it looks really soft gentle I don't know if it looks gentle, but it looks very soft. And I absolutely love 
the shades that I've used so far, they're just super easy to blend. They're not too pigmented that it's tough to blend. They're not under pigmented that you just can't really see them. They're somewhere like in that perfect, I'll call it the Goldilocks zone. They're just the perfect mix of, you know, pigmented, but not too pigmented. Really nice and easy to blend. And I'm just thinking that looks so nice right now this palette is not disappointing so far so next i am going to just build up a little bit more of that movie shade just around the crease and then we're going to add a shimmer oh i've gone back in with this pink by accident the the light pink but i'm just going to pop that around the i don't know i'm just being kind of messy there I didn't want to waste it guys so I thought oh, I'll just I'll use this but probably not my finest moment. I'm going to do a cut crease today because I feel like it's been a long time since I did a cut crease and kind of a crime considering I have my cut crease canvas from Makeup Revolution. So I'm going to just create um, a little like cut crease and then I think we're going to go in with the, the blue, this one Robin I think. Well, well is that going to look shit? But I really want to use it. But I, I mean, I'm having an argument with myself now. Um, or Trojan, like this darker blue as well, is like really beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to do my cut crease and then we can decide. So we are ready to go in with a shimmer. I really, really, really want to use the blue, but I just feel like, is it going to go with the rest of the eye? Like, I don't know. Or even the purple. Should we go purple? Let's go purple. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade. It's called Starling. Okay, okay, we ready. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I'm nervited. Oh, look at it on the brush. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Okay, so there we go. Okay, okay, it's a little bit powdery, which is a theme with this kind of palette. Um, just at this point, I don't think she is hugely like metallic or shimmery, but I mean, it's, it's early days. I'm dying to wet my brush. Like I'm just dying to just wet it because I feel like that's gonna give it a little bit more oomph, but I'm going to, pull myself back in and I'm just going to keep going but just know that every fibre in my body is wanting to wet my brush. I mean it's looking kind of matte, it's not looking shimmery is it? It looks matte to me. Anyway so we're just we're carrying on, we're carrying on like the professionals that we are. Right I'm dying to wet the brush. I don't know how much longer I can fight fight this feeling for but I, i'm just gonna do a little bit more guys really just so we can see it in its in its current form you know i mean it looks kind of beautiful but it it doesn't look very shimmery you know but i mean that's not to say it doesn't look beautiful because it kind of does but i'm gonna wet my brush because you know i i've put it off for too long now i've been fighting the feeling no more, no more. I mean, I don't know if that's a song or not, but if it was a song, it definitely was made in the 80s. Let's just put it that way. Anyway, guys, right, I've sprayed a bit of Fix Plus onto my brush. We're going to go in. We are going in with the big guns. Okay, instantly it's looking better. Can you see that? Like how much more vivid and intense she is with the wet brush. I'm not saying that I didn't think the shadow was great with a dry brush, but kind of, you know, it just wasn't reaching its full potential, you know? So we just had to give it a little helping hand to be the star that she is. Okay, so there we go. I've 
I've not decided what's going on at the at the end yet. I just don't know. I think what I may do actually just on this outer V is I'm a bit stuck because this is my complaint of the palette, okay? I feel like we need a dark, like a black or at least a very dark, rich chocolate brown because I feel like we're kind of lacking that a little bit within the palette. So I'm going to go into Shrike and I'm going to just pop that into the outer V, just like build up that outer area. And this is actually a shimmer. It's got little flecks of kind of uh, gold in it. So I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. Okay, so there. Oh no, I spoke too soon. We're not ready yet. Okay, so here we go, here we go. So we're gonna do a little bit of under the eye work and I am going to go in with Spoonbill, which is this musky kind of pinky shade. And I'm also going to put a little bit of a flamingo. By the way, the flamingo is the purple shade. So I might put a little bit of that just under the eye as well. Oh, these shadows are so pigmented and creamy and just really a joy to work with. Ta -ta -ta. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of a flamingo, flamingo, and I'm just going to like just pop that under the eye. Ta -ta -ta. Anyway, right, okay, I need to start acting normal now. Ooh, we have a dilemma over here, guys. I've just noticed. One of the issues that I have been encountering with the cut crease canvas from Makeup Revolution is that it's impossible not to get it on your eyelashes. And then it looks kind of shit. Okay, it does, but it happens. It's not just me. I know other people it happens to too. I don't know what well, I think it will. I'm not liking this outer area here, so I am just going to go in with purple, which I know you were screaming, screaming at me saying, Aminator, why are you not going in with purple all the way to the end? I don't know. I thought I was some kind of creative makeup artist, just living my best creative life, and I wasn't. I just fecked up, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put Flamingo in the outer V. I mean, yes, bitch, yes. Okay, so my phone got full, so I had to go and get some of the footage off my phone and I was watching some of the footage back and then I realised, oh my gosh, I need to address this hideous situation on my neck. So I was applying some kind of face tanner kind of situation to my face and for some reason I ended up getting it just here on my neck so that it looks like it's some kind of love bite or something. I can reassure you it is not a love bite. I kind of wish it was because I think that that would probably make me look cooler. No, no, I'm joking, but I just think it would make me appear to be something other than an inadequate idiot who can't apply a face tanner to my face. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's what that is, guys. I know you've been wondering. So anyway, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to put the purple on the other eye because as you can see, we have entered into Crease Town up in here. So I'm going to just go ahead and put the purple on the other eye and then I'll be back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Boo yeah. Booyah, shisha. Ooh, I just realised as well, I got so distracted that I was going to build up a little bit of the like crease again, wasn't I? That got a little bit lost, I felt. So I am going to take this brush here, which is a very like densely packed little kind of, is it a pencil brush? No idea. And I am going to go in with, oh, it's a bit of a struggle here because we we are lacking a kind of black or much deeper matte shade. But I think I'm just going to go in with um, Linnet again. This is the matte that has like gold shimmers in. So yeah, I'm just going to like try and pop that around the crease a little bit just to try and add a little bit of depth, you know. I feel like we've got a lot going on on the lid and I just want to add a little bit more drama around. Oh. I've got so much fallout on my face. 
Oh, that's great. This is why you should always tap off the excess, guys. And not be a rebel like me. Can you see, though, how pigmented that shadow is? It looks really pretty. Why is my face doing that? I don't know. I'm going to add a little bit of this under the eye there. Oh, yes. And under there, too. I'm just kind of adding stuff on at this point because I'm just enjoying the whole experience of using this palette. I'm just kind of adding it all on. Just everything, just chucking it on there. Okay, so guys, there we go. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do my mascara and I'm going to come back. Okay, so I have finished the look. Here she is. I think that the purple on the lid looks spectacular. It's definitely the finest purple shimmer that I feel like I've ever tried. It's just so rich in colour. It definitely didn't go on the best at first and it did need a little bit of helping along with a wet brush but I kind of feel like not to make excuses for it but I do feel like you know the cut crease canvas is quite a pigmented product in its own right and I feel like that was kind of sucking up some of the purples spirit you know but oh my gosh guys so like i'm really really happy that this palette turned out to be as tremendously beautiful as i was hoping that it would be i know that a lot of you guys have either popped this in your basket already or you're definitely kind of thinking about it it does stay on the um sleeve that it's a limited edition whether or not it is or not, I, like I don't know, but I would urge you to treat yourself to this palette. I know that I didn't try um, every single one of the eyeshadows, but every single one that I did try, which was, I don't know, I mean, at least like 40% of the palette, I was really impressed with. I thought the mattes were beautiful. I really, I mean, I love the shimmer. Everything was easy to work with and everything was surprisingly pigmented as well. And the packaging is just so well thought out. They put so much time and effort into this. And I think for, what, £7? It's spectacular. It is so, so good. So I urge you to get this if and only if the shades appeal to you because they are quite bold colourful shades so I know they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea my ah, gosh I think this is so beautiful and I'm so happy that I got her so oh also as well because I know some people will ask so this actually got to me a lot quicker than the majority of AliExpress uh, products so I believe that I ordered this let me tell you I'm not just going to pull this out of my vagina I'm going to actually give you facts I like the facts something that you never really get here on my channel but I ordered it on the 9th of the 2nd what is that right the 9th of the 2nd so that's like well we're on we're on the 25th today so it took 16 days is that right I don't know six I, where's my freaking calculator when I need her I mean where is she yeah anyway it's like what two three weeks like max I don't know I should work this out here's me going I'm gonna give you the facts and then I can't work out a simple equation but anyway guys I am going to go thank you so much for all of your well wishes recently I definitely feel like I'm coming out the other end of my illness uh, now which which is great no thanks to the antibiotics which by the way did not work i mean really guys but anyway i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye